Hola! What's up everyone? Marlene here, your local teaching artist and welcome to another edition of Hola Visual Arts Home Studio. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, I am very excited about today's project because well, first of all, you guys are literally in my house right now. So welcome, bienvenidos, mi casa, tu casa. And second of all, I really like this project because you don't have to go out to a fancy art store to make it happen. You guys can literally find all these materials around your house or at the local store. So clear some desk space and let's get our art on. So today we're going to make these really pretty prints and we're going to learn a technique called styrofoam prints or styrofoam print making. So, in order to make these happen, you're going to need the following materials. Need a pair of scissors, need a pencil, a pen, a pack of washable markers, and the more the merrier. And I got this pack at Rite Aid for like seven, eight bucks. Really good deal. Need a bowl with just, you know, a little bit of water in it. Need a styrofoam plate or a container. You guys can wash a container from the Chinese food, right? A straight edge or a ruler, a book school, anything that will get you a straight line will be just fine. Finally, you're going to need two pieces of regular paper, okay? Okay, step one, we're gonna prepare our materials. So we need to prepare our printing plate and we need to prepare our design sheet. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our styrofoam plates and we're just gonna cut out the round part because what we really need is just the flatness. We need a flat surface. Stuff, nice flat plate. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these edges and I'm just gonna cut out a really thin diamond. It's like a leaf, huh? Okay. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a piece of paper that you have and you're going to you can create any shape you want right now, but just to make things easier for me, I think I'm gonna try to make a square. So I'm gonna try to cut out the styrofoam while I'm also cutting the paper. Okay, and I'm just gonna go all the way up because I want straight edges, right? And again, this is to make everything match. Okay, so you see how I'm keeping the two together and I'm just making kind of like, I'm making a rectangle basically, or a square, um, just so everything matches. Ta-da, and I have this really nice, so my design plate and my styrofoam plate both match the same size and that's what we really want, we want them to match. Next, I want you to grab your two sheets and I want you to set aside your styrofoam and hold on to your design sheet because here we're going to draw a pattern that you want to print. And anytime I make art, I love to be inspired by different cultures. So I'm gonna continue my art journey south. I'm gonna go from Mexico, where I was last week, continue down and go into the land of Guatemala, or the land of trees, to be inspired by Mayan symbols and traditional Guatemalan art. Artistic expression in Guatemala stretches back to the Olmecs and the Mayans. And, in many ways, contemporary Guatemalan art is still a product of that history. Unlike European art, Mayan art does not focus on making something unique or new. Instead, their art focuses on repeating symbols that tell stories in order to pass down their history and their values. Symbols that can be seen in their weavings, paintings, and masks. Today, we're gonna to be inspired by one of the Mayans' most important symbols, the symbol of corn, or maiz. Corn was not only critical to the Mayan diet, but it also held a spiritual significance for them. You see, the Mayans believed that human beings were created from maiz. White corn was used for bones, yellow corn for muscles, black corn for eyes and hair, red corn for blood. 
And that alone is enough to inspire me and get me drawing. So let's start designing.